many different purposes of doing meditation but no matter what regardless of the purpose all meditation need just like any other thing need motivation first and foremost the most important is motivation it then needs a lot of patience Because our mind is like roll paper. It's rolled in a way already. You know, even you try to make it flat, it will roll back. <laughs> so you have to do many times. You have to have patience. You put it back flat and leave it. It will go back and do it again and do it again. Sometimes almost opposite to it. You know, that's what mantra, the tantric masters are doing. You just do the opposite <laughs> and it helps, that's much faster so to make it flat. To break the concept that we have. You know, that rolling of the paper is the concept that we have. You need motivation, you need lots of patience because the path may not be always smooth, sometimes painful, sometimes depressing, sometimes exciting, you know, there's always ups and downs. So, to overcome that problem, we have to have a commitment or the strong mind and heart to continue in the long run. Many people fail, many people don't get the result because they have a great expectations that the result will come out very soon. And when you don't, when you have the expectations, and if you have very high expectations, then of course it doesn't work because you set the expectation too high. And then that becomes the obstacle. That becomes the main, the inner obstacle for you to stop, and give up. Nothing forceful. Anything forceful will not work. But you need a steady support, steady effort. You need good guidance. The more you practice, the more guidance you will need because then you have more experience as you practice, so you need more guidance because experience are very individual. These are some of the important techniques, some of the important points that we need to know about meditation.